Hello, welcome to Taffy Two Wheels today. Today I'm at CCM in Bolton. CCM stands for Clues Competition Machines. Now this all started with Alan Clues in 1971 where he used to race in Duros and he didn't have a bike that he liked so he decided to build his own and this is where CCM was born. Now today I'm going to be test riding this lovely machine. It even matches my crash helmet. It's lovely grey. This is called Maverick. I shall be testing this. It is a single cylinder, 55 brake horsepower engine. Um, it's a Husqvarna engine. Everything on this bike you see is hand built by CCM. So without further ado, please join me on the walk around and test ride. For now, Listen this. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That. Let's go. And I'm on the uh, Maverick single potter. This is absolutely fantastic. This fantastic. Down. I'm not took, must have keyed on them small little mirrors there but um, I can see a little bit past me but no I've just got to set them up <laughs> very basic bike this no ABS no nothing but it's fantastic single pot you want to hear it shake rattle and roll baby The seat's pretty comfy to be fair. And all my controls are to hand. These bikes, you can do what you want to them, you can customise them, different tanks. Isn't that? It's great, absolutely wonderful. The sound it makes is. <laughs> Fantastic, <laughs> extraordinary sound. It's, it's just so different, this CCM. And it matches my crash helmet, I can't believe it. It's lovely. <laughs> Listen to that. Yes, it's got quite a bit of hurry up juice, this. You get loads of looks on this, it's brilliant. Loads of looks. <laughs> it is absolutely splendid. You can absolutely personalise it to the heck. This personalise it to heck. All got the same frames, same Husqvarna engine, 600 cc, single potter. But you can feel the power on that. It's extremely extremely unique bike this it just feels nice the quality it's like a tagger watch it is it's like that type of quality look at the detail everything attention to detail is brilliant I don't think you can go too in on this bike I don't think it would it's built for that to be fair. Right, these bikes, just to give you an idea how much they cost, around of a about a base price would be around about ten grand upwards. So it's quite good that a starting price. I like the nice wide bars on it as well, they're pretty good. It's a reasonable price for this bike, I'd say. Very reasonable. In fact, it's a steal. Hey! <laughs> Look at that scenery. And it stops good as well. The brakes are well on it. Yes. 
Look at these roads here. Really nice. Everything works very well together. Everything's very synchronized. Works in harmony. I would say that I'd compare this to a Harley, to be fair. Oh yes, just listen to that exhaust note. Right then, what can I say? I'm six foot one. This bike is tiny compared to me. Obviously like a flat foot, so it's dead easy. But when you're on it and riding it, it feels alright, it feels fine. It doesn't feel like it's a tiny bike. Everything feels comfy. I'm not cramped. In the slightest, I'll say all the buttons are easy for me to touch, reach. My shoulders and arms are not sore. My wrists are not sore. I fit the bike pretty well considering I'm quite tall and gangly. And that's not an issue at all. The suspension's quite firm. However, it doesn't make sure it make it an uncomfy ride. It's very comfy. Refer. And I've got my semi motocross boots on. It's, well, ankle boot, motocross boots type of thing. And I can change gear I'm extremely easy with these boots on. The foot position is extremely comfortable. Right then, what do we think of this bike then? I really like it. Right, please join me for the walk around. Welcome to the walk around. As you can see, the CCM it's Maverick look at the quality of it reposition foot pegs rear pegs we've got for the passenger nice long seat although I'm quite tall when I'm sitting on it it's not too bad as I'll show you see flat footed very easily I'm not too cramped when I put my feet on the pegs, change gear and brake, no problem at all, very very easy to do, stands a bit fiddler though, better get off it first before you put your stand down. This is a brand new CCM and I think they start about £10,000. Just going to show you a little quick walk around now. Look at the quality. Mid test tyres on. Suspension. Nice Husqvarna 600cc single pot, 55 brake horse upside down forks spokes it's even got an engine guard on as well there's a nice touch to it as well on the back tail light indicators a diddy this is chain drive all very well made in a lovely grey these mirrors here at the end can't see a lot with them really but they do make the bike look nice it sort of um, looks right on this bike and type of mirrors 
this is keyless the keys in here and let's turn it on touch that fob there it comes on put your key back in there then to start it press fire gonna give it a bit of a rev for us. that's it Stop it. That's that. Simple as that. Nice and simple. All the controls, they're straightforward. Nothing fancy on this bike. Don't need it. It's an absolute work of art. The colour's great. That headlight, the design, and everything is absolutely spot on. So, if you fancy having a test ride on one of these, please contact Chris Shaw at CCM in Bolton and they'll be only too happy to see you and to help you. These wonderful bikes need to get out there and be seen. They're absolutely fantastic to ride and well put together. So you can have different tanks on, you can add bits to it, you can customise it to your needs and how you want the bike to look which is quite good really right then thanks very much for watching and we'll see you soon thank you bye well then what can i say i've had an absolute blast on this bike you throw it around all day it's got plenty of real juice it feels amazing to ride it's well built it looks like it should be in a museum like I said before it's absolutely amazing great bike but for now this will be a good bike for me until the next time hello it's for two wheels here and I've took this bike out for a ride not this particular one, but one like it with a different colour scheme. Uh, I've got Chris Shaw here who's going to tell me the difference between this and the bobber. Um, is obviously, as you can see, you've got bigger wheels, uh, a lot more of a scrambler look, um, back into sort of yeah, enduro style or uh, definitely a scrambler style, obviously. Yeah. Um, you've got it on. Um, it's nice that we have got a different bike to one that you ride, so if you've, you've seen the different colour scheme, at yeah, least. You've got the different tanks, I mean, you've got... you can have anything you want. Here. Yeah. <laughs> you name it. That you... Can, can make it yeah we've just been around the factory tour as well and we've just sort of seen that whole process amazing of, yeah i'm glad you glad you liked it it's a brilliant just, process isn't it it's yeah. just amazing that you see it from the engine then to the finished product and different bikes with different tanks different seats different frame colors and who's making it ccm uh, yeah but people are making yeah, it aren't they they're make physically it, it making is, the bike it's hand built yeah, which is the biggest difference. Yeah. You're not having some ABB fancy robotic thing that's coming over no. doing everything. You've got old man and brawn yeah, doing proper, his job with a torque proper, wrench, you know, he's, he's doing it. Um, proper way to make bikes. Yeah. Hand built. Literally is hand built. Yeah, and that's that's the bigger difference is you know, you're having your bike your way as well. It's like Absolutely. a subway of motorcycles. Yeah. You know, better quality yeah. of sandwich. But yeah, but yeah, ultimately you, you're picking whatever you want. So if you want a different colour seat, if you want your own paint scheme as well, that's what we've touched on it before. Um you can you can sort of design and just say to us, look, my car's this Ferrari red yeah. or it's yeah. this sort of we've got a uh, a bobber there, a Lamborghini in green. Uh, yeah. it's a green it matches Lamborghini, which is fantastic. It's everything down to as you want it, which is So what's the difference then between this and the one I tested before? The bobber? Yeah. Or the bike? 
the, the bobber? Uh, the bobber's got obviously short wheels. Yeah, um, the seat's different as well. Yeah, the seat's massively different. Uh, the frame is actually ever so slightly different to it as well. You, as we sort of touched on, the subframe changes, it does. Um, but the, the Mavericks frame's here, so it's a little bit heavier. Um, so you've got, I think the bobber's about 145. This is about 10 kilos heavy. This is a tall as well, isn't it's it? It's a taller, taller bike. bike. I mean, even you fit on it, which yeah, is just I, I incredible. Do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and obviously the tyres, different than the tires um, yeah so it's a little bit more knobbly so you've got a little bit more of that aggressive pattern going on <laughs> and if you've seen um, yeah. you've seen our videos on our marketing you can see Dougie Lampkin absolutely tearing this around um, a nice little little dirt track and he's enjoying himself getting front wheel up it all looks fantastic yeah, awesome yeah. did you do any of that did you get a, get yeah. a lift a little bit a little bit <laughs> and I thought I thought can I wheel it on I thought I'm not going to try just in case I did say that I thought I don't want to bin it but yeah, awesome. Yeah. Man. Well, I'm glad glad you enjoyed the yeah, experience. Look, I'm glad you've seen um, thingy. But yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, good as well to compare a different type of style of bike and different type of ride. Um, yeah, there's a style pretty much here suited for everyone. You know, you've got is. the Supermoto, you've got the Trackers, you've got the Mavericks, you've got the Scrambler, um, you've got the Bobby, you've got the Six, you've got a little bit of in between. You know, it's it's yeah. nice because we've yeah. thought about right, okay, we've got such a fantastic base. Yeah, of you know, it's such a solid engine, brilliant frame, really nice and lightweight and strong. Again, everything's custom hand built as well. Yeah. The yokes are still anodized, but um, on here, but they are one big block of. Yes. CNC, it's not cast, yeah. it's not cheap crap. Yeah, it's um, not. It's very good. the biggest difference. So it belongs know. in a museum. It's great. <laughs> so it belongs on the road, it's about to be ridden. Yeah, I know, but some people will, like you said, yeah. buy it and put it in, and put, um, put it in, in the, the living, living room. room. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if you're interested in any of these bikes, please speak to Chris um, at CCM and see if you can get a test ride. Absolutely. Thanks very much, Chris. Awesome. Thank you. See you soon.